I recently finished a book called Brain Rules for Work, where he brought up this really weird and interesting concept where by surrounding yourself with the color green, like whether that's outside, going out into nature, or bringing green into your life through plants, that you can significantly increase your productivity. So in this video, we're gonna quickly break down why this is a thing and go over some simple tricks that I use to bring more green into my life to boost my productivity. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel, but I film about books, productivity, and kind of navigating your life in your 20s. So if you're into that, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. Now, the first question we should be asking is why the color green? It seems kind of random, right? But if you think about it, we are biologically biased to the color green because it represents life, survival, food, all those things that you need to survive in the world. So it does kind of make sense why we are a little bit biased towards the color green. The part in the book that really surprised me was the fact that they ran a test on whether plants in an office would increase productivity. And they actually found that it increased productivity by about 15%, which is an insane amount of percentage, right? Like 15% is no joke compared to a control group, which didn't have any plants in the office. And then they also felt less stressed in the process as well. So for the last few weeks, I've been playing around with how do I bring more green into my life, right? So the first tip I have is to buy house plants. Now, I am a designated plant killer. So I went on the interwebs and talked to my sister who sells lots of e-commerce things. And she told me about this site called easyplant.com. Now, I don't know anything about easyplant.com or whatever. So I started researching and I bought a plant. So I paid full price for this, not sponsored by Easy Plant or anything. This is just a good plant site if you were like a killer of plants like I am. So I went on there, ordered it, and then it shipped in like this like cardboard container so that the leaves don't get all messed up and you have to like take it out in like some specific way and then you water it once a month but i ended up buying the money tree because hello i want more money in my life <laughs> and so i bought that and i really like it you can kind of see it in this in this image here because i just think it's like really cool that it's engineered so i only have to water it once a month and hello being a mechanical engineer like how do you not love engineered things so I will link below any discount that I can kind of scour on the internet um, if they give me a discount, but if they don't, it's still really good. I paid full price. I think I paid 50-ish dollars for the money tree plant. It's pretty big for being like a small and I got the base in the color turquoise, which I don't believe it's turquoise. That is definitely green. Like re relabel your things, people. <laughs> Okay, my next tip is actually so simple and I think that's why it makes it so genius is I changed the background color on my computer monitor screens to the color green. So that seems like super easy, right? If green focuses your mind because of like evolution and all that things, why don't we just change everything to the color green? So I changed all my monitor screens for my personal and work to the color green and I'm gonna see if it kind of helps. I will see it's a little jarring at first because you're like, wow, that's just like, bam in your face. So I think it is helping and I don't care if it's like 1% productivity boost, like I will take it. Okay, for my last tip, I'm actually the worst at doing this, but it says to take breaks outside. Like taking a break is really good, but taking a break outside, you will outperform everyone. I don't know why that's a thing. I'm assuming it's because fresh air, fresh light, green, all that good stuff. And I live on a trail. I don't know why I'm not going outside in the middle of the day. I always feel good when I get outside and kind of wander about. So take breaks outside if you can and try to like touch a tree, touch some grass, do something because apparently it's in the science that taking breaks outside, you will outperform people who take breaks, who outperform people who don't take breaks. So. It's in the science, people. If you're interested to see how I track goals, like bringing more green into my life, I like to use a concept called the accomplishment calendar, which I basically gamify things and give myself little stickers for doing things. So I will link that here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.